You have both been open about the role that faith has played in your lives. Can you discuss in detail a time when you struggled to balance your personal faith and a public policy position? Senator King. Yeah, that's an easy one for me, Elaine. It, it's an easy one. I, I'm really fortunate. I grew up in a wonderful household with great Irish Catholic parents. My mom and dad are sitting right here. I was educated by Jesuits at Rockhurst High School in Kansas City, my 40th reunions in 10 days. And I worked with Jesuit missionaries in Honduras now nearly 35 years ago, and they were the heroes of my life. I, I, I try to practice my religion in a very devout way and follow the teachings of my church in my own personal life. For me, the hardest struggle um, in, in my faith life was um, the Catholic Church is against the death penalty, and so am I. But I was governor of a state, and the state law said that there was a death penalty for crimes if the jury determined them to be heinous. And so I had to, to grapple with that. When I was running for governor, I was attacked pretty strongly because of my position on the death penalty. But I looked the voters of Virginia in the eye and said, look, this is my religion. I'm not going to change my religious practice to get one vote, but I know how to take an oath and uphold the law. And if you elect me, I will uphold the law. And uh, I was elected, and I did. Governor Pence. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful question. And um, uh, my Christian faith is at the very heart of who I am. I was, I was also raised in a, in a wonderful family of, of faith. It was a church on Sunday morning and grace before dinner. But my Christian faith became real for me when I made a personal decision for Christ when I was a freshman in college. And I've, I've tried to live that out, however imperfectly, every day of my life since. And uh, with my wife at my side, we've, we've followed a calling into public service where we've, we've, tried, to, we've tried to keep faith uh, with the values uh, that, that we cherish. Um, and w with regard to, to when I struggle, I, 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 I appreciate and, 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 and I, I have a great deal of respect for Senator Kane's sincere faith. I truly do. That's shared. But for me, I, I, I would tell you that for me, the sanctity of life um, proceeds out of the belief that that ancient principle that um, where, where God says, before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. And so for my first time in public life, I've sought to stand with great compassion for the sanctity of life. Uh, the state of Indiana has also sought to make sure that we expand uh, alternatives in health care counseling for women, non-abortion alternatives. We, I'm also very pleased the fact we're well on our way in Indiana to becoming the most pro-adoption state in America. I think if you're going to be pro-life, you should, you should be pro-adoption. But what, what I can't understand is with Hillary Clinton and now Senator Kane at her side is to support a practice like partial birth abortion. I mean, to hold to the view, and I know Senator Kane, you, you hold pro-life views personally, but, but the very idea that a child that is almost born into the world could still have their life taken from them is just anathema to me. And I, and I, cannot, I can't conscience about, about a party that supports that. Or that I know you've historically opposed taxpayer funding of abortion, but Hillary Clinton wants to, wants to repeal the long-standing provision in the law where we said we wouldn't use taxpayer dollars to fund abortion. So for me, my faith informs my life. I try and spend a little time on my knees every day, but, but it all for me begins with cherishing the dignity, the worth, the value of every human life. Elaine. Yeah, that's an easy one for me, Elaine. It, it's an easy one. I was educated by Jesuits at Rockhurst High School in Kansas City, my 40th reunions in 10 days. And I worked with Jesuit missionaries in Honduras I, I, I try to practice my religion in a very devout way and follow the teachings of my church. Um, the Catholic Church is against the death penalty, and so am I. But I was governor of a state. My Christian faith became real for me when I made a personal decision for Christ when I was a freshman in college. Uh, my Christian faith is at the very heart of who I am. Yeah, that's an easy one for me, Elaine. It, it's an easy one. I was educated by Jesuits.